Hello everybody, Sly StarCraft here with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I normally don't cast games on Sunday night, but I was getting a bit restless, so I was like, hey, why not? Uh, I'll just put up another video real fast just because I want to play some StarCraft. Might as well give you guys something to watch if you guys are just as bored as I am right now. So we have a Zerg versus Zerg. My opponent's going to be IS Mike. I uh, haven't heard of this guy. It's going to be a Zerg player. So it's a ZVZ on Fractured Glacier. And, uh... We'll see how it turns out. Still kind of getting a bit pissy at my computer. Luckily, I just ordered a new one. Thanks in part to your guys' wonderful donations. I had a donation link in my description for a while. And uh, a lot of you could spare a couple bucks here and there. And it really helped out, so it is on the way. And I cannot wait because I'm going to be able to bring you guys smooth footage. I'm going to bring you more videos probably because it'll take less time to actually uh, compress and do all that kind of stuff. And I'll, I'll even stream. I'm going to start streaming once my new computer comes. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be going 14-14, 14, 14, 14 gas, 14 pool, and followed by a gas pull-off and expansion. Um, I don't really know what the ZBZ meta is, but I haven't really had any problems doing this, so I'm just going to stick with it. And of course in ZBZ, you always want to position your overlords um, out on the field. So he is going to be in the bottom left location, it looks like. He's going to be scouting me first, so already he has a slight edge. Not a big deal. Going to be sending him over there to do some scouting, and he's sending a drone. Uh, so he's going to be trying to block my expansion, which isn't a big deal because I'm not going hatch first, so that's kind of weird. Going to start another overlord. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do. I'm just going to send out a drone to beat away at it just for a little bit. Um, just because he can, I guess, even with my links there, he can block it for a couple seconds. So I guess this is kind of a silly tactic for him to use. I don't really know why. It looks like we're about even. Uh, looks like he's ahead on the attack. Uh, the delay between drone attacks is actually kind of random. So you have to be, be careful when you're fighting drone on drone that you don't get your drone killed, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going for a hatch first anyway, so he's already pulled off one drone, so I'm, I do have a lead despite him uh, scouting me, although he probably has first, so I mean, there's all kinds of variables. You can't really say, oh, I'm winning or oh, I'm losing, you know. You know how it goes. Is he going to keep his drone there? He is going to be keeping his drone there, finally pulling it back, so that's a smart move right there. Kept it just long enough to uh, block a hatch if I did want to uh, do the whole expansion thing, which I didn't. So we're good. We're okay. Get a hatchery coming up. And one more drone. Next one's going to be an overlord. And I might even be able to get in here and kill this uh, drone. Who knows? Looks like he's got some lings. There they are. I think I started my overlord. Let's take out this uh, spine. He's got less lings than me. So we'll just have at it. the cancellation and I lost one ling and he lost four so I am okay with that. He's gonna lose a drone as well. There goes his drones. So I've lost three lings, he's lost uh, four lings and a drone. My speed should be up soon so I'll be able to pester him a bit more. I'm gonna move these overlords back and uh, get a baneling nest as well which is a bit overdue. Link speed is up. Problem with what I just did there is now I don't really get to take a lot of advantage of my link speed. God, this frame rate so bad. Uh, I don't get to take a lot of advantage of my link speed because I only have three links now. You can't really get a whole lot done with that many. Or can you? Um, get him. Yeah. And he survives. Aw, uh, yeah. Transfer some drones. When my hatchery is this late, I do do a transfer. Normally I don't. <laughs> I said do do. So I think we're looking pretty good right now. I think I'm ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get a spine. I'm uh, not sure why I got it with that drone, but whatever. And keep up on the overlords. Bailing nest is almost complete. And I probably, I want to like, I, I feel like I should go mute as this game because I've got a pretty good lead. But I kind of want to go swarm host just for fun. I know a lot of times when I go stuff for fun I end up losing because of it, but it's okay. It doesn't really bother me, it's just a beta. Oh, I thought I started my lair, but I guess not. I'm starting my lair now. Got plenty of defensive lings, I feel like. Uh, he was getting a spine, so he might be kind of thinking defensively. So let's get some gas. Just gonna mass drones, see if I can get in here with these lings and scout, maybe kill a couple drones, we'll see. 
And there's that eject. And get another overlord. I just want to keep up on your overlords. It's one of the biggest things. Oh, and he's got the rocks up. So now I know I can pretty much just drone up in tech. Um, now that he does have the rocks up, I kind of want to go mutas. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he might be going mutas since he has the rocks up. Let's, uh... Let's get you over here to kind of see what's going on. Oh, he's attacking with a spine. I don't know, we'll see. Bow, 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 bow. Let's just make some... Do some feist earlier. You guys jealous? Uh, let's, yeah, let's go infestation pits. And you're gonna become an overseer. Problem with making him an overseer is now he knows how early my lair is, which can be not good at times. But oh well. Uh, looks like my drone count's looking pretty good. Should think about starting my third. Definitely want an Evo chamber. Get in there. You need to go in and scout. I feel like he's mutas. I feel like that's like the only thing he can be get going right now is mutas. I don't see why he would wall off or anything else. And there's the hatch, there's the pool. Not seeing a spire. I have a feeling it's there though. There it is. See you, buddy. So, well, can't go swarm host now. Just gonna go ahead and switch it up into uh, Roach, Infestor, Hydra. And I'm gonna get another queen for some creep spread. It's gonna be important if I'm ground and he's there. But the spire is actually pretty late, so I like my where I'm at right now. You just can't do a whole lot when you scout that spire that soon. That was like a really fast scout. Well, it wasn't a super fast scout. His spire just wasn't super quick. All right, so let's get four infestors. We're gonna get one spore behind each base. Probably not necessary, but it doesn't hurt. And I feel like because I scouted it, he's gonna do a pretty fast roach uh, roach switch, faster than normal. Changing, hanging out there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where are my links? How did he slide by those? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I need links really badly. Get up there. Right. I need banelings rather. Well, good, th good thing is I don't have any tech in my expansions, so that's good. I am going to lose my base, though. He could have done a lot more damage with that. That's what you need failings for! Uh-oh. Uh oh, he's splitting him. Splitting him. No, what are you doing, infestors? Get him, queens. Oh no, this is not good. Not good at all. I need hydros, but I don't have any gas. Where's my spore at? Oh, I cannot believe this fucking noob. Oh my god, I needed one fucking baneling. One bane, like literally one baneling, and this doesn't happen. One baneling. Uh, this guy even scouted my baneling nest. He still tries that. What a fucking tool. This was an instance of, okay, you're beating me and it caught me. Um, you know what I'm getting. My tech is inferior. Let me just try to all in you. And that's what he did. If I had two banelings, he this game would be over right now. But um, yeah, like I said, it's just ladder. So GG, nice desperation move. Damn it! Hope you guys enjoyed that. Just kind of shows you my ladder row woes. Really frustrating. And that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. That guy was. I'm gonna see what this guy's league was. Undeserved Grandmas. 21 and 4. He's awful. Ugh. Blech. Nothing desperate about it. Derp, derp. One baneling. And you lose, son. GG. Fucker.